Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I bet that you didn't expect to see me, did you? This is my last video of 2018. I had to do this video before the year was over because today I am reviewing the Pit Box Cruelty Free Beauty Box. This is the December edition. Now, if you didn't know, I switched to Cruelty Free Beauty two years ago. It's one of the best decisions that I've ever made. I feel very passionate about Cruelty Free Beauty. And the Pit Box very kindly sent me a box to try and review for you. So I feel very lucky. Thank you, Pit Box. I've tried and tested out all of the items already. So I can tell you exactly what I think. So each box has an average value of about £55 plus and you pay about £20 to £30, it kind of depends on the month. I will leave pit boxes details in the description for you if you want to go and check them out. Let's open the December box. Ooh. Ah. So I received this box on Christmas Eve, which was great timing because it felt like a present for Christmas and also it's like a pamper box and that's what I want to do around Christmas is just pamper myself and just focus on self-care. So this is what it looks like inside. It contains next month's theme. It contained a uh, discount voucher for Code Beautiful uh, because one of their mascaras is in this box uh, for this month. Also you get this pit box leaflet which shows you all of the items which you have in your box and then on the back there is information about each item and the price and where you can buy all of these items from if you want to purchase them again. Okay, so let's get right into the products. The first product which I tried and tested is this um, Chobs Collagen Face Mask. This face mask I tried on Christmas Eve. I shall insert a picture here of me wearing it on my Instagram story. And yes, I do look a little bit terrifying. And it made my skin feel very refreshed and cool and very smooth. So I will definitely be repurchasing another one of these masks in the future. So the next item in my box is this Raw Halo Dark and Salted Caramel Chocolate. It's organic, dairy-free, gluten-free and vegan, sweetened with coconut sugar. I think personally that chocolate should not be a healthy thing. I think that chocolate should be a naughty thing. It's not really my cup of tea. Next item I received is this Elate Liquid Gold Eyeliner. I absolutely love the packaging. It applies really nicely. I love the colour. It makes me want to break out into song. Gold, gold. I'll do a little swatch for you on the back of my hand now so you can see the colour in all of its glory. So the next product which I received is this Welder C Buckthorn Creamy Body Wash. I've used this all up, I really liked it. It smells of like um, sea salt and minerals. It makes me feel as though I'm bathing in the ocean, but I'm not actually in the sea, I'm in my own shower contemplating my life and my existence but this body wash just takes me away to the seaside which is where I want to be. I'm from the East Midlands so I'm not anywhere near the ocean but god do I want to be. The next thing is this Lucky Cloud Hydrating Super Balm in the flavour Sweet Orange and Vanilla. It smells really subtle like it's not it's not very overpowering and I really like that. It makes my lips feel very hydrated and also I feel as though I'm getting one of my five a day. Moving on to my favourite product in this box, which is the Code Beautiful Mascara. This is such a nice mascara. I'm wearing it right now. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I love the wand, I love the formula. It separates my lashes, it volumizes them. It just looks so pretty. I like how it's travel size, I like that it's buildable so you can have one coat for like daily use and then you can add a few more coats for um, night time and to have like a bit more of a dramatic look. I shall do a little before and after for you. So here on my left eye is none of the mascara and then on my right eye here is three coats of the mascara. Look at that difference, absolutely stunning. I want to whisper the name, Code Beautiful. I think that that would be like an excellent advertisement. And I want to be like fluttering my eyelashes, laying out on a chaise lounge, being fed grapes by some dream boat of a man, and then pout. I could just see it now in my mind. So Code Beautiful, if this is something which you would like to get on board with, then my email's below. 
<laughs> the last item in the beauty box is this phase zero metal veil eyeshadow in the shade regal and this is in a metallic red which is very festive for december however i feel as though this is not really my colour. I feel as though it's a little bit too bold for me. I shall do a little swatch for you on the back of my hand. It's beautifully creamy and pigmented. It's not really my um, kind of product but I'm glad that I am aware of the brand name. So I did not know any of these brand names before I received this box. And that's what I really like about the Pit Box is that you get to um, try out new cruelty free brands. Yeah, I really enjoyed this pit box. I would definitely recommend it. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Why not subscribe to my community? It would be a pleasure to have you. And I shall see you in 2019. Happy New Year, everyone. See you soon. Bye.